Tangerine Cafe actually started four years ago, almost exactly four years ago, in January 2006 when we acquired the UK confectionery arm of uh, Tom's Confectionery of Denmark. Oh, yes. uh, Tom's are one of the largest confectionery companies in Denmark and they'd uh, embarked on an acquisition strategy in the UK in the, in the 90s, I think, and uh, uh, by, the, by the years 2000 they decided that uh, perhaps they would retrench to their their domestic market and other European markets. So they decided to sell that business and myself and a colleague, Chris Marshall, and my finance director, Steve Dodds, uh, decided after uh, an absence from the confection industry for a few years that we would re-enter. Um, a lot of experience amongst the team in confectionery and uh, we couldn't keep away. So in 2006 we bought the UK arm of Tom's. Uh, in August of that year we then bought, uh, and that created Tangerine, in August of that year we bought the Burton's confectionery business from the Burton's okay. biscuit business yes. uh, with a factory in Blackpool. Uh -huh. So that meant we had four factories. Um, and then exactly two years ago today uh, we acquired the Monk Hill confectionery business uh, from Cadbury. And that created what Tangerine is today, a business turning over approximately 160 million. Um, most of that product, the vast majority, over 90% of that product is manufactured within the UK. And, oh. and it's our policy to manufacture within the UK yes. for all sorts of good reasons, yeah. uh, both commercial and, uh, and environmental. We don't have to ship product around the world. Yeah. Our customers yeah. are in the UK. Um, and uh, you know, that's the basis we are today. And by default, with all the other confectionery companies being bought by foreign entities, <laughs> we are left as the last man uh, in the industry almost. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the biggest confectioner of them all? It's almost like Kraft and uh, Nestle, and they just want to be the biggest, don't they? Or, you know, do you see, what, how do you feel the knock on effect is going to be of the? the craft Cadbury deal and do, do you think how's that going to affect your business and perhaps the whole confectionery do you think there's going to be a knock-on effect on that, that uh... I don't think so I mean certainly not on ourselves I mean we we specialize in sugar confection we do a certain amount of chocolate but we're mainly sugar confectionery and the Cadbury Mars and Nestle are mainly chocolate businesses they do have sugar interests uh, but such interests as they have are, are totally branded um, half of our business a little over half our business is private label uh, and that's an area where we don't compete with them and even on the branded front our brands are very niche uh, we've not got the big brands that they have we don't go head to head with them in the marketplace right. and therefore yeah. we don't see any negative impacts uh, that will occur to us mm. um, at least that's uh, that's what we <laughs> hope do, do you find uh, the show like Pro Suites useful to you and your team do you, do you come down to uh, obviously get a chance to talk to people like us as well but um, you know the, the, the machines are here the ingredients yeah are here. So absolutely sort of... I mean uh, I'm not an expert in the, no. the technical side <laughs> of the business but it is always interesting to see you know machines to give you ideas for new products that you can make but also on packaging and then and new ways to uh, uh, develop a specific uh, specific line right.